we probably done lost about 20, 30, no cap. Cause we the mecca of this shit. We, 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 the, we the first power hood ever. I just got a fight in that bathroom yesterday. Once you start walking around with these smoking weed, hopping in cars with niggas, you from the hood. Even if you, you know what I'm saying, denying it, whatever. At some point, it'll make you be like, I'm ready to go full fledged. Say again, DJ what? With the motherfucking members, you feel me? And what the fuck you say, the real what? <laughs> <laughs> the real MVP TV. What you say, the real what? The hey, you rocking with the members, man. Signed to the streets, the real MVP TV. Westside Bompton, 142nd Street, 134th Street, Paru Street. Do your research. Hit a J3, West off. Eight years old, nine years old. Coming outside, seeing it's getting sparked on. I got shot when I was 14, feel me? Got shot when I was 16. I've been out here like, you feel me, all my life. Like, this is Pampers. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And shit, shots get the flying. Bullets ain't got no name. We probably done lost about 20, 30 niggas. No cap, like. This shit every day, like, nigga, tomorrow ain't promise over here, like, this shit greedy, like, nigga, nigga don't know what's, what's to come once you enter, what, leaving this motherfucker, you feel me, you might make it in, but ain't no telling if you gonna make it out. Yeah, man, it's Power Roof Street, Notorious. That's where it all started. Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, big bad Power Roof Street. This bathroom right here, this the Hall of Fame bathroom right here. Like, if you ain't took no phase in this bathroom, right here, you ain't, you ain't no nigga like that, like. A lot of, if only one nigga make it out of this bathroom. I just got a fight in that bathroom yesterday. And on rules, just think about it, nigga be like 50 niggas in here. So, with 50 niggas being in here, nigga, you only got this space right here, you feel me? All this shit is crowded, you feel me? And it's all right here, nigga. Get it in right here, nigga. I'm hood. I'm phased out in the hat, though. I'm mm -hmm. broke. But the homies like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I was a young nigga, you feel me? Like, I'm past all that. Yeah, I'm. Bro, gonna be no violence on the community. Yeah, I mean, That's whoever, it's whoever opposing us, I'm about to fuck everybody don't like us, period. You know who's It's to the point we don't even let it affect us, you feel me? We just keep going and do it for the ones that we lost, you feel me? It just motivate us to do better. And my big brother was from the hood. My mama was from the hood. So, I probably came outside, probably really gang banging at like 12 years old. Like, 12 years old, outside, all red on. Walking down streets, chunking peas up, feel me? Nigga, all through this motherfucker. Nigga, it was, it was days when nigga, all we did was walk through the hood. Like, nigga, even, and, and it was all, it's never not been a war. Like, it's always a war. It's never been a time where shit just died down and, like, you, you ain't got to look over your shoulder. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if you blessed to do that today, ain't no telling what it's going to be like tomorrow or the day after or a week from here or a month from now. Nigga, you might be in a casket. No cap. That's just how I go, like, I didn't see niggas that was right here with me. We laughing, all that. I just lost a nigga this week that I love, like, nigga, this last upcoming week. My bro, he played for Germany, football. A lot of niggas ain't making it out. Even when you make it out, you still find yourself, you know what I'm saying, in a fucked up situation. Feel me? You got to always deal with the consequences of the decisions you make. But shit, you ain't tough, you ain't strong mentally. And this ain't for you. You ain't built for this. It don't matter what side you on. You could be crip, blood, whatever. If you ain't willing to be going through this shit every day, then shit, you need to give it up. I felt like I was in it without me wanting to be in it. Like, I was so deep in it that even if I didn't want to be a part of it, it still would have surrounded me. So you got to jump in off the porch. You feel Some me? jump off the porch full-fledged. Some jump off and still ain't earned a name. So it's like every day, your name is everything. Like this gonna always matter. Cause when a, a nigga that you love get killed, it don't matter what you doing, you could be out of the state, you gonna come to show your respects to your homie. So it's that deep. Yeah, we always had to end it. West well, always been the one who tried to keep the shit together, you feel me? Cause we the mecca of this shit. We the, we, 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 we the, we the first power hood ever, you feel me? Ever. So in the hood, like we 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 always try to keep the the the, the 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 unity, you feel me? But shit go sideways sometimes. When shit go sideways, we drift with the tide on the hood. We gonna bring it to whoever bring it to us. Like, dead I'm right. spirit. People gonna get how they live, even if they gotta take it. They gonna go robbing, 
stealing, backstabbing friends just to come up. You know what I'm saying? Shit, some people, that's all they seen growing up. When you grow up and you being raised by people that selfish or snakes, you know what I'm saying? You don't know how to be different. No one, nobody really showing us the route. That's why we did it ourselves. Shit, to, to be real, I damn near had him. Had we grew up on the same street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's like the same street that I lived on with my grandmother. He didn't lived on with his family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and then came up as a baby, and now this is him presenting himself to the world. Yeah. I, it was a time when, you know what I'm saying? I was a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just ripping and running every day on the block. Like, yeah. I saw the nigga new. You know what I'm saying? To the point. I found met ended up meeting him years later and he ended up being right here with me and we from the same section. And then I ended up finding out everything. Like damn, next thing you know, I gotta embrace it. The hood, shit, this is like like I told you. Like when you, you from it when you even when you ain't from it. Yeah, Once you start right. walking around with these niggas smoking weed, hopping in cars with niggas, you from the hood. Even if you, you know what I'm saying, denying it, whatever. At yeah. some point, it'll make you be like and I'm ready to go full fledged. I'm ready to go all the way. You could be hanging with a nigga you love that's from the hood and you don't bang and you watch this man get killed. And then when you watch this man get killed, it don't make you want to do nothing but return that anger. You know what I'm saying? That same mm -hmm. feeling that you felt for your dog and what he felt for the hood. Now you want to feel that. You want to feel that love to why he was so, you know what I'm saying? Pure for the set. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas be bunk, but then you got your selective fuse that's pure for this shit. Like, heart really in it. Go put it all on the line. Sweet around here, you might go to bleed. Trying to catch a slug and don't come back. Like, that's just a part of the game. Like, niggas be cold. This shit deeper than rap. You feel me? Niggas is rappers still taking phase, still, you know what I'm saying? Whole nigga. They rep, they name down, you feel me? It's my young homie right here on the set, though. I'm proud of blood, yeah, though. Homie. Like, you feel me? Like, blood doing something different, something positive, you feel me? Blood bringing back to the community, all that blood, but we still game bang. But blood got a route, you feel me? Like, as long as blood niggas follow blood, nigga, nigga the recipe, nigga, we straight. Then we gonna get rich on the hood. Nigga, shit, it's treacherous, nigga. Mama's smoke dope, nigga. daddy smoke dope, nigga. nigga. Raised by our grannies and shit, you feel me? What? On the hood, nigga. I have been there. You know what I mean? I was just getting clean last year, like. Niggas got roots over here, though. All the real niggas been over here, niggas, niggas parents been over here since the 50s, the 60s, you feel me? I'm a set, so, so niggas, it's the soil, you know what I mean? Niggas gonna bleed behind this stuff. Power roof and throw up tackle in the streets, blood scraping the knees, blood power to get bust on them. About to shed blood on these concrete. You know what I mean? Just, so I'm baby Snoop, that's all power street. With the half stepping, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas be doing it backwards, bro. Like, we really, you feel me, really outside in the middle of wars. Like, you outside right now in the middle of a war. You feel me? But, you know what I'm saying? We don't let that stop us and pump it down. You, you can't never put your flag down, nothing really. You feel me? At the same time. Like, you just gotta say, Go hard for what you believe in, you feel me? Whether it's the streets, a brand, music, rocking with the homies, just gonna go all the way. Whatever they can do to get some money, or they carrying a gun every day to protect their life. Some of them don't know it's to protect your life. Some people just think it's to harm others, you feel me, every day. You feel me? Sometimes you gotta carry the gun just to protect you. You feel me? If you going out looking for that type of, you gonna find it. But some days when you ain't looking for it, it come to you. you feel me? I find myself, you feel me, in the crossfire a lot. But if I wanna be great and I want them to be great, then maybe that's something I gotta do. Maybe I gotta put my pride aside and stop being selfish, like the people I looked at and seeing them being selfish, and then it made me wanna go do something greater. Whatever we could do just to be doing something outside of just being on bullshit every day. We can't stop that. We can't stop that. That's something that's surrounding us, regardless if we wanted to or not. We can't change that. You feel me? So we just look at it like, fuck it. What if we could show niggas a better route? You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's not too late for us 
or even if it is too late, you feel me, and we already too caught up in it, then it's about time that we show that it's something else out there. You feel me? Like, I got a son, love, you know what I'm saying? Like, my youngin' one, so it's like shit. I don't want him to even know what this shit like. You feel me? I barely even try to bring him around, you know what I'm saying? Because, but I'm not hiding who I am, you feel me? I just don't want him to know what this feel like. It's like this over here, bro. You can't come outside if you ain't no that's going to be willing to squab. You ain't willing to go hop in and do nothing for your homies. You feel me? You can't even be a like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas won't even show their face like that. You feel me? If they ain't contributing to something. I remember growing up, I couldn't come outside and ride my bike up the street if, you feel me? I wasn't going to fight the homies, you feel me? They used to come to my house to fight me. And my mama used to be like, nah, you ain't, you feel me? Nah, my baby ain't fighting. And I'd be like, man, I'm going to go out here and, you feel me? Like, this shit really make you stronger and tough. Make you go hard, you feel me? And once your faith in it, you don't care how it go, really. Once you, once you confident about it, it ain't nothing they can do to take it from you. And we got... The hood is big though. We got this side of the hood, that side of the hood, and then we got the other side of the hood. Then the homies hood is this way. So it's just, you feel me? All this shit surrounding us. It don't even matter. Like you can go over there and try to go to the store. And whatever going on over there gonna follow you. You could just be wrong place, wrong time, and next thing you know, shots flying. That's just how they go. Feel me? be driving down the street in the car and don't even know who you is next you know shots flying you ain't even doing nothing wrong a lot of niggas were never taught nothing you might wake up it don't even gotta be you woke up it just be today a day when you was a kid you lost somebody now you forced to go do something that's just how it go like it's just surrounding you in and out it ain't even gotta be in you, but they gonna make sure it's in you, and if it's not, then this ain't, they, you don't need to be over here at all.